tired of that cold start. Today is uh, day two of uh, potentially selling the Vet Chronicles. Um, so yeah, it's uh, 10.02, so that means that the salesman that I'm talking to just got there, and he's gonna start talking to them. Another thing that I noticed about that ZL1 is that it has been on the lot for 77 days, which means that you know, if they if they can't sell the car, they're gonna end up selling it to another dealership for wholesale bottom value. So um, hopefully they can just uh, make it work with me um, because just what I was thinking about with the vet is that if I keep it for much longer at the rate that I drive it, the value that it's worth and what I owe is gonna just start to get bigger and bigger that it's getting at right now. Um, and obviously the whole thing you can say is, oh, we'll just get a daily, but I mean, it's kind of like, I don't only commute literally like less than 15 miles towards work and then back from work. And I kind of just don't really see the value in getting a commuter, um, at least not right now. It just, like I don't commute to the bay or something to where I really feel like, yeah, like I should get a commuter. Like, I'm not dying on gas. Like, it's just kind of like just how it is. Like, I, what I got the car priced for. And then, you know, just like how it's depreciating versus um, what I'm paying. And obviously, I can also choose to just start paying a lot of money into it to catch up. But it's still kind of at the end of the day, lost money. Um, and then, obviously, the time that I'll take, I'll still be driving the car a lot. So, yeah, it's kind of a tough so choice just from a content perspective. Um, I've already done a lot to this car. And on YouTube especially, I really slacked and I did not vlog and record doing all the mods that I did on this car. I kind of just kept it on TikTok and I really regret that. Getting a fresh start with the car will will inspire me and motivate me even more to just start vlogging everything and um, hopefully, hopefully being able to grow a lot faster because um, I've done pretty good on TikTok, but YouTube has just always been super hard, but I'm hoping I can change that now. So yeah, I'll update you guys and we'll see. Alrighty, what so I wanted to give you guys a update on what's going on here. Um, so for the ZL1, they are willing to give me what I want for it, which is good. Uh, the problem is though, is that they're being a little hesitant to offer it at the price that um, it was offered to for my friend uh, because he, you know, he was a fellow salesman. And that's kind of the that's kind of the thing because that's a couple thousand dollars that you know that's a little bit of money on the monthly note, uh, so that is a potential roadblock. And unfortunately, since it's not right around the corner, I can't just you know go over there real quick to see if I can make things work and then just head right back home. We're talking about hour push drive. Um, so I found a 2017 M4 Comp. Right, this is like the fully loaded M4 carbon fiber roof. It has the wheels that I really like on M4s. Uh, they're basically already agreeing to give me the same price for my car. And they are, they have some wiggle room. Um, they're asking 47 and just by over the phone, I've already talked them down to 45. So obviously, you know, if I go there, you know, I go there, I, I point out some things about it, you know, whatever, exaggerate it. And I tell them that I'm willing to walk away potentially get it lower down even more. So I really have to think right now and, you know, kind of just go from there. I think what I'm going to do though is someone's calling me. Hold on. Alrighty guys. So just to update, we are on our way to go look at test drive and negotiate for the ZL1. I have two cars as backups from different dealers that are right around there in case things fall through. Even with those two cars though, it is not a guarantee that I um, sell the vet today. It has to work out. I'm going to be super stingy. I want to get a really, really good price for it. don't want to be overpaying. I mean, to be fair, the price that it's at is low-key the cheapest one on the market by like $7,000 right now, um, which obviously is good, but still though, I need to get the best price possible. Uh, I'm ready pre-approved for my credit union at a really good interest rate considering today's um, market. So. That'll be good. That's why I want to get the price good. And yeah, I'm super excited to test drive it though. Obviously that's going to be huge. I'm going to inspect the car, make sure I don't see anything off on it. Look at all the paint chips and anything that could potentially be on there. 
um, you know, check out the tires, make sure that I'm not gonna have to replace them right away, fill out the brakes, all that good stuff. Alrighty, TikTok, so, we, uh, not TikTok, YouTube, we've successfully made it to uh, the dealership. So let's go look at the car. Alrighty, y'all, so here is the car. It's a white 2018 ZL1, massive Brembo brakes right there. Uh, you know, little rock chips and stuff. Um, like a little scuff right there. Nothing major, but a little bit of imperfections here and there. Um, here's the engine. We have the LT4. I'm about to get in the driver's seat right now. Alrighty, y'all, we're about to take it for a test drive. The steering wheel is in decent condition. Uh, this is a uh, clap, so it would have to be replaced. The interior is similar, but it actually has less visibility. Than the, than the vet, but it has back seats though, um, which is funny. But yeah, the Alcantara feels really nice. I like that a lot more. Um, so yeah, if, as far as interior goes, ZL1, definitely better with the Alcantara. It has like the ambient lighting, which is nice. And then it has like um, a nicer screen, newer, all the controls, heated and cooling. So let's take it for a test drive. Alrighty guys, this is officially the fastest car that I've ever driven. 650 horsepower 650 torque um, I'm just going to chill right now I'm not trying to do anything crazy with it I got to fill out the brakes and stuff the throttle response I mean you know it took off really normal um, the brakes are like super strong this idiot this is doing some stupid stuff so take it right right yeah <clears throat> Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna try and do a pull. Probably just check out for like some. These Brembo's are squeaky as hell, but I'm used to that. Um, but they feel really strong though. It doesn't feel like oh they need to be replaced or whatever. We we'll roll the window up. I think I'm clear to go. No, this guy's gonna go. The visibility, I'm very surprised, is worse on this car. Which I mean, I already knew, but it's just so surprising. Yeah. It's worse on this car than it is on um, any other car. Give it some gas here. That supercharger wine is crazy. How does it feel so far? Oh. I feel scared again. I can't tell which uh, route, what gear I'm in. I'm in fourth. Oh, I can hear that wine. It feels scary, bro. Do I turn right here again? I think I do. I think it has the GPS, so I know it's not. No. Probably the next train, the light. Whew. And I'm not even like in like the actual gear to like send it, send it. I'm just like checking it out. But yeah, this thing feels feels crazy. Alrighty, crazy. so let's talk about what happened after that test drive. I'm not gonna go ahead and blame the salesman. I think it's more of the manager. But things kind of just took a 180 and it all fell apart. So after that test drive, you know, I wasn't 100% in love with the ZL1. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a sick car. It's capable of great things. And it might sound funny, but the visibility killed it for me. I was, wasn't a fan of the visibility. I can see myself stressing driving that car in some situations. And if I can enjoy driving the car because of things like that, I'm not going to get the car or I'm going to have to get a really, really good deal on the car. And I thought I was going to get a really, really good deal. So I was willing to look past it. They cut back on their trade-in offer, even though they knew everything about the car. I told them everything on the phone because I did not want to waste my time. And then, although I was told that, especially if I actually show up in person, that they would have some wiggle room on the car, sales manager was like, nope, no wiggle room at all. So they wanted to undercut me on my trade-in. And then they wanted to stay 100% firm on the car. It just wasn't going to work out. Maybe if I sell the car and I reconsider it, maybe that'll work. But no, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The ZL1, it was a cool experience. But I think I'm going to save the LT4 for when I could afford to get a ZL6. Uh, I don't see the point, I guess, in me getting the ZL1 besides just for the concept that I would have made with it. So that's what happened. So I still have the vet. So stay tuned for what's next because it's going to get sold. We just got to figure out when and we got to figure out for what or for if I do sell it for something. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like, comment and subscribe.